Dear students, good morning. Good morning, sir. Today we are going to learn about the determination of wavelength of laser light by using diffraction method. So to determine this one, we have this formula that is lambda is equal to sine theta by m n. Here lambda means wavelength of the light source and small n is the order of diffraction of light. Capital N is the lines per inch on the diffraction gradient. So to, to determine this wavelength, we need some apparatus. Those are this one is laser source and this one is grating and the third one is to measure the length. This one is scale. So by using these three, we have to determine the wavelength of the light instant on this grating. So here in this grating it has 15,000 lines per inch that is 15,000 LPI. So capital M equal to 15,000 LPI. This can be converted into centimeters. So we, we know that 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So by dividing 2.54 then we will get capital M is equal to 15,000 by 2.54 in centimeters. So now I am placing this grating in this tank like this and this laser source can be placed exactly linear position. So here this board can be treated as screen and this one is our grating and this one is our laser source. These three can be in straight line position and clearly observe these are the diffraction pattern. Okay. So this one is central bright fringe and this one is first order and this one is second, second order. order. And again coming to the left side this one is first, first order, order and this one is order. second order. So again also observe here the intensity. Intensity of this central bright fringe. This one is very bright. And coming towards the right side, this intensity is decreasing. This is also very decreasing. So while we are moving from central bright fringe to towards the right side, the intensity is decreases. And also observe the fringe width. Here the width is more, here is somewhat less, here also very less. So fringe width also decreases. Coming to the left side, here also fringe width is less and here also very less. And intensity also while we are moving from central bright fringe to towards the left side, this is also decreasing. So now we have to find out the distance from the screen to the grating. Okay. So I am placing here. See how much it is. Is it 1.9 cm. Yeah. Yes, it is 12.9 cm. So, serial number 1, it is 12.9 cm. Now, here, from central bright fringe to this one is first order. So, what is this? Distance? So, how much it is? 5.9 5.7 uh, Yes, it is 5.7 cm and this is first order, this is 5.7 cm. Similarly, in the left side from central right fringe to first order 5.9 Yes, it is 5.9 cm. So again coming to the, to measure the second order this is central bright fringe and this one is second order. So length of this one is how much it is? 16.5 Okay. It is 16.5 centimeters. So this one is second order and this is also the distance between the screen and the grating is constant. So 12.9 centimeters and this is second order. So distance this one is 16.5 centimeters. Now coming to the other side, the right side of the central bright fringe and this distance is 17.5 Yeah, it is 17.5 cm. So 
now we have to calculate the average of these two distances d1 plus d2 by 2 so average of these two is 5.7 and 5.9 so it is 5.8 and also average of these two is 17 centimeters. Now we have to find out sin theta. So sin theta is equal to here d by root over d square plus d square. So it allows in the sentence, you can observe it. So this is the vertical distance from the grating to the screen, this one. This one is denoted by the letter capital D. And this is first order this is first order so this uh, distance is small d okay and now the line joining from this first order position to this grating is hypotenuse okay no? so this is a right angle triangle and this is the angle diffraction angle ante ikkada nunchi diffracted ray ee vidhanga akkadiki vachindi ide munchi direct ga diffract avakunna velindi central right fringe ray ee rent madhya angle mana em antam ante angle of diffraction antam that is theta so, this e triangle lo sin theta and allow us to make formula into sin theta. Opposite theta. side by hypotenuse. So, opposite side is and the small d. Hypotenuse and td. It is gonna. So, it allows us to make root over small d square plus capital D. Small d square plus capital D. So, sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse and d by root over capital small d square plus capital D. So, Ikra So you can change as an answer to sin theta is equal to small d small d value and then d 5.8 and capital D cover capital D and the distance of the monkey 12.9 so our value substitute chase already calculate chase and the much up and touch in the value 0.41 double 0 0.41 double 0 9 okay and coming to the second order, second order kuda D value anta 70, capital D value anta D, so E value substitute chase the which in sin theta value anta 0.7962, okay, so these two are the sin theta values. So now coming to this formula, lambda is equal to sin theta by nn, so here what is small n? One first order. First, first order. First order. So first order small and equal to one. one. So substitute this value sin theta value four point four one zero zero nine and small n equal to one. one. And capital N is equal to fifteen thousand by two point five. So I substitute this answer in the answer monkey. Six nine four four angstrom. Six nine four four angstrom units. Okay. So again coming to the second second order second. for second order n equal to two, two. Two. lambda of sin theta value idhi astamu capital n ante 15000 by 2.5 2 value manaki 746 746 angstrom so din talaka average anta average so average of wavelength lambda is equal to din average 6000 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 6,800 